um, work with me. I've been procrastinating doing these. Ooh. So beautiful. everyone, it's Brittany here from Green Bee Flowers in Strathroy, Ontario. I am just here outside. Um, we have a large anemone harvest that we need to do. So I'm going to take you through, I'm going to show you the bed. We're going to harvest some anemones and some ranunculus tonight. Anemones haven't been a flower that I've ever grown. They kind of freaked me out. They have corms, so like they're not tubers, they're not bulbs, they're called corms that look like little acorns. And we soaked them back in February and kind of just hoped for the best. And I'm really impressed with the stem length on some of these anemones. I might not be able to use all of these in like hand-tied bouquets, uh, but these are really wonderful for our mason jar arrangements. So now we're gonna do the ranunculus. So now, ranunculus is another one of those crops that we haven't grown um, en masse, and a large part of that is just because a lot of people who grow ranunculus, they put them in greenhouses, which we don't currently have access to, um, and we live in southwestern Ontario in Canada, May is notorious here for having all sorts of weather. Last week it was 32 degrees Celsius plus humidity and the ranunculus really don't like that. Um, so we haven't gotten as many blooms I think as I was hoping uh, but these ones behind me here, these are Italian ranunculus. Uh, we got these from Dahlia May Flower Farm up in uh, Trenton, Ontario and I'm quite excited because the blooms on these are really very spectacular. So let's go pick them. Look at the colors in this one. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, when I pick ranunculus, I come all the way down to the base of the stem and pull off all of those extra buds that come with it. So this is the perfect point to harvest a ranunculus. I'm a little closer to the camera. There we go. So you can see there's multiple buds here, right? One two, three, plus the main flower. So I want this whole stem because the length that it gives me is absolutely phenomenal. So these are going to go in hand-tied bouquets that are going out to our customers tomorrow. So you'll notice I picked this one here 
but this one here is still too far closed. So we're gonna leave this to ripen up for a couple days and we'll come back um, in about two days and it should have had its first open cycle and it'll be ready to go. Tonight, we pulled in our very first ranunculus harvest of 2021. And if this year can go anything like these flowers look, I think it's gonna be a pretty good year. So beautiful. So this right here is our sweet pea patch. Um, sweet peas have quickly become one of my favorite flowers that we grow, and this year we are growing about 500 plants of sweet peas. Now these sweet peas, we have trellis to this, uh, we started these back in March so they had a good chance to establish, grow a good root system before we put them in the ground. Now here in Canada um, our sweet peas typically go in the uh, ground around Easter weekend. Uh, the reason we do that is because sweet peas like ranunculus and anemones prefer cold. So these have actually really started to take off uh, and grow within the past week. They're gonna attach to this, which eventually will grow up and then over. Now this section here right behind me, these, these are all my dahlia propagates. So these are dahlias that we took and we actually started these as propagates. They're essentially cuttings that we took from the main tuber. These are going to grow up to be a genetically identical plant to the one, uh, the tuber that we took from. The reason we do this, or have been doing this this year, uh, is because I've added about 75 new varieties of dahlias to the farm. Uh, we're gonna take you there so that you can see our two different farm locations. But essentially, what we've done is we've pulled these. Now there's a whole bunch of them that are just, I don't know if you can see it, uh, but they're miscellaneous, i.e. We don't actually know what the mother tuber is. So that's gonna be part of our job this summer is uh, figuring out what varieties all these dahlias are, but you can see they have a really nice root system on them. These will develop their own set of tubers, which will create about so anywhere between five to 10, hopefully viable tubers for next year. Next, I'm gonna take you into the greenhouse. So here in the greenhouse, we have a whole bunch more dahlia propagates. Um, this year, I think we propagated around 200 dahlias, if not more. There was a pretty consistent changeover as soon as the dahlias were basically big enough to come out of their baby cell. We moved them up into their next size, which are these little three by three pots, and that gives them the chance to kind of develop a better root system. And then once they got out of these three by three pots, they went into the bigger pots that you saw just out there. And this is basically the size pot that we started them in. So right now we have cinnamon basil going on in here, but uh, these little hexagon shaped ones, this is where those dahlia propagates essentially came off the tuber. We uh, would just pull them off, pinch them off, stick them in here, make sure that the soil stayed really moist, and after about two weeks we would be able to transplant them into their three inch pots. And about a week and a half after that, we were able to transplant them into the bigger pot. Those are now acclimatizing. They've been sitting out for at least another week. And by the end of next week, those will all be in the ground. So that's it for me tonight. I just wanted to say thank you for watching our little mini backyard farm tour. As I said, we grow on three different plots. Everything that is in our backyard pays, we call it rent, uh, but essentially they are useful in some way to the farm. Then the other two plots that we grow at are both about half an acre to a full acre and those we plant more of our uh, tender annuals, things like cosmos, marigolds, 
zinnias, sunflowers, our high value crops, and of course our entire dahlia field, which I'm so excited to take you guys through later as it starts to grow. So thanks for joining me tonight. I hope you guys are all having a good day. Um, we'll see you next time. Bye.